Well, no, J Mac did kill Malcolm X. You say he was probably one of the ones that killed Malcolm X, huh, man? Yeah, probably. probably. In the spirit. He was probably one of the ones that he, he might be an eater, might take him to the uh, like a mashiach. He might be a chocolate covered Edo. No, no, he's the one who's sitting on the cross on the other side of mashiach. Or he might have been a scoffer on the cross. That's right, King. Oh, that might be him too. Yep. Just got on your feet, man. White shoes. They black. Isn't that your man's? Who man's? Is not. Film them <laughs> shoes. Is them white shoes? Get it. <laughs> ask, ask everybody on live, are these white sneakers? Are these white sneakers? Or are they black? Ask them on live. What they say on live? Are these white sneakers? No, you film with this camera. Film your feet, man. Are these are these are these black or white sneakers? You tell me, man. And a brother, and, and, and a brother tried to pull the wool over my eyes, man. He said these are black. Where they black, man? Read what you got. This is a book of Jeremiah, chapter four and verse twenty-two. Bring it out. For my people is foolish. No, my people are wise. My, my people, people is foolish. foolish. No, my people are smart. My people, people are foolish. foolish. Take it, sir. Read again. For my people is foolish. foolish. Why are they foolish, though? They have not known me. They don't know the Most High, man. How do you know the Most High? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. The rah rah is over. Let's get to the edification. All right. How do you learn and know the Most High? Read what you got. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 2. Read By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. I ain't asking you how you love God. I said, how do you know him? First John 2 and 5. I said, how do you know him? Who's got it? Quick, quick, quick on the sword. I'm going to be quick on the sword when the Most High says, start at my sanctuary. That means get rid of the wicked of my people first. And we're going to come and we're going to visit him, man. That's right. We're going to be, hey, man, the Most High said he got cruel messengers, man. The Lord said he got evil angels to send down, man. That's in the Bible. That's right. The book of Psalms will tell you that. The book of Proverbs will tell you that. The Lord has cruel messengers, man. What if it's us? <laughs> what if he lets us be the cruel messengers, man? Most I give you eyes brighter than the sun, man. What if he do that so that you can find the heat in anywhere he hides, man? He said he, he doesn't lack the ability to create newly created creatures. And for judgment. That's right. Which appease the wrath of him who created them. Are oh, we getting into different scriptures now? No, you know, I, that's the way I like to have camp. You know that. Don't get me started. All right, we get that. Wait, why not? Why not? Israel, everything is not... Uh, who is? You got it. You got it. See, it ain't about me speaking and teaching. The, the <laughs> camp is for everybody. All brothers should be able to step in and edify and kick doctrine and tag in and out, man. All right? You brothers in these camps, don't rely on one powerful speaker. Look at uh, uh, Elam throwing trash in the street, man. You know? Just making the spot worse. Selling on the Sabbath day. You know, hey, she wouldn't be allowed to do that in That's, right. That's right. right. And, and, what? and she's a damn woman, man. It's right. it's Nehemiah Ben Huda, he, that whole stand would have been uh, burnt up That's in right. smoke and flames. That's right. right. Josiah would have came through and pulled everything out of the stand. Come on, man. <laughs> Took all the money, threw it out in the street. Hey, hey, matter of fact, it, it probably wouldn't even got to that. Because as she meant to stick that key in that master lock to lift the gate. What you doing, man? What you doing, Sam? What you doing? Oh. What you doing? <laughs> no, nothing, sir. And look, they're going to be looking like this. <laughs> I want all my Edomites with them bugged out eyes. Man. Oh, yeah. Listen to my holy sign, man. Yeah, look, look, look at this, man. Hey, Esau, this is your future. You was making mockery here, but the Lord is making mockery of you. That's really how you're going to uh, be. And didn't the Bible say all faces shall gather blackness? Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, the most high is a, a character. He got the last laugh. Oh. You think, hey, let's be spiritual. Spiritual moment. Uh, Speakers men speak. Uh, uh, I said something last night on class. I said, at the end of everything, when it's all said and done, and Satan done walked you to the lake of fire, do you know the most high gonna tell him, well done? Uh, 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 now brothers can't understand that. Because Satan did what he was told to do. That's right. right. That's hard to understand. Brothers don't understand that Satan perfect. He's oh, he he brothers, the, people hey. don't really understand that. You say that to the wrong person, they go, oh, I gotta go. You're a devil. Did, did he just say Satan is He's perfect? Like, you damn right, Satan, Satan perfect. He do exactly what the most I tell him to do. To a T. To a T. Uh, and he'll probably do extra credit. He'll do more. <laughs> but the most I tell you something, you can't do half that. God. That's why I bring that up. God. That's why you're not perfect. Your, your opposition is perfect. 
Hey, the scribes and the Pharisees was perfect. Who could break down the law? I'll get the wickedest scribe and the wickedest Pharisee right now and crack this Bible. He could teach better than me. Yeah. Can he not? Can. That's why they sat in Moses' seat. That's why they was able to sit in Moses' seat like the brother said. Can. You got to be qualified to, to orate like that. Can. Right? Right. What was their wickedness? They said and did not. That's right. It was hypocrite. It wasn't for lack of knowledge, though. They knew this book. You know, I, if, if we had camp, we go, hey, what's that scripture where the Lord said, uh, what mean ye uh, to beat my people to pieces? Come on, come on. The, 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 the Pharisee be like, you're talking about Isaiah. And, you know, he, he step in front, you're talking about Isaiah. And then he go into it. Because I, I can't tell you where that verse is at. Time. What mean ye that ye beat my people to powder? Somebody find that. I think it's Isaiah in the 50s. So what we're doing is we're trying to get our mind right, man. And that comes with looking at things the right way. You understand that? You gotta look at things the right way, man. Satan ain't playing with you, man. Hey, hey, your enemy is perfect. The white man is perfect at his wickedness. If he was not perfect, he could not have subdued the whole earth. The white man is so good at his damn evil wickedness that he figured out how to subdue all nations on the earth. There's not one nation in this earth that does not bow to his power. He wouldn't be able to have the title as border of wickedness if he wasn't perfect. perfect maybe. You supposed to be the border of righteousness, though. That's right. The Lord said, uh, the, give me uh, um, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. The Lord said this about the border of his people, man. And, and get that scripture about Isaiah. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. <clears throat> verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Keep going. That's it. Con, that's right. He set the bounds of, the, of all people according to the number of, of Israel. We are the standard of all people. That's why when you go to Deuteronomy 4, all the nations are supposed to. We were talking about this yesterday. Come on, Shala. H O I off the scene. Shala. Yeah, so we're the, we're the standard of all people. We're the border of, of, of all the nations that the Most High set up, man. All right, we were talking about it yesterday in Deuteronomy 4. The angel, the uh, Con. The angels moved it. Con. But hey. we can't see it. He could probably see them. Yeah. He could probably see them and they stepped up and they look like men, you know, right. with hoods on, and they just inch forward and he gets the message. You gotta be spiritual, man. You never yeah. somebody smitten with madness can see that. You, you, somebody smitten with madness can see that. You know? You know, we only see the spirits when we in our deep sleep yeah. and we see the black figure. Done. But people smitten with madness, they might can see them in broad daylight, man. Right. Okay. Huh? Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, that's, that's I got a precept. Look it out. What you at? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 15. Oh, this is what you wanted? Yeah, yeah, read that. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces Rodney? and ground the faces of the poor, Rodney, you said the Lord God of hosts? Read that again. Yeah, read that again. Come on. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 15. Bring it out. Watch, watch what mean ye that watch ye watch beat my people this to pieces hold and, post. Gotta hold and grind the faces of the poor? Hey, man, our people are beaten into pieces by the so called white man, man. He beats our people to pieces. And the Lord said, What do you think you're doing? Where do you get off doing that? Where do you get off doing that? Where do you get off grinding the poor unto powder, man? Give me Proverbs 30 and start at verse uh, 7. Read on, read on. Read it again. God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 15. What, me, what mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, said the Lord God of hosts. That's God saying, what business do you have touching my people? That's right. Hey, man, who are you putting your hands on? God. That's what the Lord is saying in Old English. Hey, yo, who, yo, you put your hands on my people? Right. Huh? You know how we do it in the world? You know how you touch what's yo, mine? Yo, you know how we do it in the world? So you was tough the other day, right? Right. You know, that's how we do it in the world, you know? Hey, you, you hard, right? Sound hard on the You know when somebody roll up on you and then you gotta start copping, please? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Right? 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 I remember when uh Love and Hip Hop, uh Jim Jones ran down on that gay dude in uh in uh in Hoboken. And he was holding his face. Apologize to the camera, man. And that's how the Lord's gonna do these heathens. That's right! Apologize to the apple of my eye, man. And we're gonna be the enforcers in that day. Uh, right. uh, you know? So what, hap what happens if they don't apologize? This is gonna transform into a rod of iron. <laughs> With spikes. Hey, Isaiah 60. With spikes, man. Isaiah's gonna weigh 90 pounds. Bing! 
but I'm gonna be strong enough to lift it with one arm. Ha! Splatter. You understand? Because the Lord is not playing with our enemies, man. That's right. Hey, they destroyed us, man. You ever seen Deep Blood? Nah, what happened? Or when you hit them? They, they, <laughs> they just burst open and shit. I that's can see that. Hey, that's how the Lord killed Uzziah, man. Blew him up. Pieces. Blew him up. That's how we're gonna. And David was displeased, man. Yeah. Well, the heathen is gonna be displeased when they look upon the carcasses. Didn't the Lord say that they're gonna be an abhorring to all flesh? Because their body gonna be mangled and destroyed. Man. That's right. See, we're being spiritual now. All right, normally we teach the Sons of Thunder, we teach at a level where it's spiritual, but it's, it's, a, it's a rated PG-13 level of instruction, to be honest, right? But when you talk about the Bible and you get into the judgments that are gonna happen to the other nations, hey, that's rated R, man. Okay. Hey, read it in the Bible, Isaiah 13. Don't drop nothing, somebody else get that. Isaiah 13, start at verse 16. Who's, who's holding Proverbs 30 and 9, man? Come on, I got it. Read Proverbs 30. Hey, y'all brothers, come hear the word, man. Read it's, Proverbs 30 and 9. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and 9. No! Lest I be fooled and deny being saved. Now you gotta start. Now you gotta start up above that because that's good. You gotta start up above that. Uh, verse 7. And, and you know, he's scoffing the Bible at this time. Yeah. The Bible said their mouths must be stopped, man. Hey, hey, didn't the, didn't the Bible say in the last days, scoffers shall arise, man? Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. So now we're dealing with it. You understand? But now this is all, this is all a part of your spiritual training. And your basic training in the spirit, right? Don't 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 it irk your soul when the Bible trying to come out and somebody talking over, somebody uh, dispute, and the scripture can't come out eloquent and beautiful. Don't it make your blood boil? It, it didn't used to be like that. It didn't used to be like that. You used to watch camp videos and brothers would be scoffing and you be all into the video, laughing a little bit. They about to cut them in a minute. But now, when the Bible is interrupted, it's like. <laughs> it's like nails on a chalkboard, right? Uh, that's because that's because your spirit is becoming more and more in tune with the Most High. You are changing. Y'all are not the same. I'm not the same brother I was when I first came into the truth, man. I'm a different guy. I'm, I become, the Most High is continuing to change and change me. So now my DNA is different. So now that's like nails on a chalkboard talking over them scriptures like that, man. Uh -huh. But but how is this gonna happen? Ezekiel 25 and 14. How is this gonna happen unless the Most High change you? Don't drop nothing, just somebody else get that. Uh -huh. Hold them scriptures in order. Read what you got. Come okay. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse seven. Y'all brothers are free to chime in, man. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. Go ahead. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them, not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Remove from me vanity and lies. That man could have asked the Most High for anything. This is the, the Proverbs of Agur. And he had two witnesses, Ithacal and Ukal. When you read verses one. Okay. So two or three witnesses, what? That matter is established. So they're telling you that these Proverbs are real, man. And two people heard these Proverbs to, to vouch that. Everything written right there, I was there the day that he said that. Right. Man, read verse four. This is the book of verse, uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse four. Who have ascended up into heaven? See, they was there for these questions. Go ahead. Or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Uh-huh. Who have bound the waters in a garment? What does that mean? That means he stopped the... Do you ever think about it? The oceans have a boundary, man. Right. They got tsunami waves that can come onto the surface. But, go back but they go to back. To the natural level when they finish. How do they do that? Because he binds the water. He can hold it. It's in a garment. Read, read. Who have established all the ends of the earth. That's from the mountains to the lowest valley. Come on. What is his name? And? What is his son's name? Hey, it was two witnesses there that day. The Most High has a son. That's right. You see that? Uh, it was two witnesses there that day. And, and, he, said, what's, and he said, what's their names? If thou right? If, thou canst tell. if you know. Now go to, go to the verse she was reading. Huh. Two things. Verse, th uh, verse seven. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Remove far from me vanity and lies, man. I don't want to be proud and I don't want to bear false witness. I want to overcome that. Y'all niggas lie just for no reason. You yeah, see, see what I'm saying? God! Read on. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Don't make me too rich, but don't bring me to poverty. 
Why does he want that? Because he wants balance. He said, don't bring me to poverty. Yeah. That's right, that's what I said. Yeah, no, no, because the brother's in poverty. He think we supposed to carry his level. Oh, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the most I could bring him out of the Dunghill tomorrow. That's he right. And he sent, the, and he sent to us to do it. No, listen. He put, you know what? Look around. Who's listening? But he's our, he's our captive audience, man. That's right. right. What if the most high is on top? You know, I like to do this. What if the angel is on top of that statue saying, are you going to teach him? Are you just going to, are you just going to scoff him and, and make mockery of him? Or are you going to try to teach him? I'll teach him. Read. Feed me with food convenient for me. Now here come the folly. All right, it' gonna get worse. Here come the folly. Read, read, read. Oh, you wasn't here in the beginning. Read, read, read. Lest I be full and deny thee. See, because when we have too much, we don't remember to thank the Most High. We only want to thank the Most High when we lack something, and He give us what we lacked. But when we content, it's like we don't have a reason to thank Him. That's right. And that's wicked, man. Read that again. Read, read. And say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal. And take the name of my God in vain. And that's what he's doing, man. He come to poverty, and now he's taking the Lord's name in vain. Now, is he listening to them? No. Does he know what's going on with them? Is he going to menace them? He's our own personal demon, man. Hey, read what you're holding. You, you got something. This, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60. Verse 12. Bring it out. For, for the nations and kingdoms that will not serve thee shall perish. That, hey, that's what the Lord said. That's right. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's right. Because that's our right. nation was utterly wasted. That's right. Israel was utterly wasted when Vespasian came. And you know what the, uh, the Talmud says about that? Let me tell you something about them white Jews, what they say about Vespasian sacking Jerusalem. You know what they said? They said some of the white Pharisees you know, them Talmudist people spoke to Vespasian and said, why are you coming to take Jerusalem? And Vespasian said, because you have much evil behind these walls. And if there's a snake underneath the basket, you have to destroy the basket to get to the snake. Wow. And you know what the Pharisees said? This is a good speech. That's in their Talmud. And they moved aside and let him pass. And let him come in and destroy Jerusalem. They're going to pay for that, man. They're going to pay for that, man. Read what you got. Uh, uh, wait, wait, I need to do this one first. Wait. It's Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 16. Yeah. yeah. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. See, that's what's happening to our people. But the Lord in Isaiah 13, 16 said, this is what's going to happen to their children. They're going to have to feel the pain that we feel when we lose a loved one. They're going to have to know what that's like, man. Why you think he said, I'm going to give you a rod of iron to break them into pieces? Because they're going to be rebellious in that day, man. That's right. Man. Hey, hey, who got this? Hey, he saw mommy and daddy going to be like, you better do what the Israelites tell you. You better do what them Israelites tell you. And they wicked uh, young Esau. It's gonna be wicked, man. We gotta keep reading. And we're gonna break his ass to pieces, and the parents and the parents are gonna see it happen, man. Go ahead. Their houses shall be spoiled. And what happened to Jerusalem? Was our houses not spoiled? God. They spoiled up. Uh, was our houses not spoiled in Tulsa, Oklahoma? God. Newark, New Jersey, Philadelphia? God. Our houses are always spoiled, man. Esau will build a damn highway through your house if he wants to. That's right. It's a pipe. It's oil. It's did called eminent domain. He did that to the South right. Bronx. Yeah, right. He said what? He did, he did that to the South Bronx. He did what? He built a bridge? Yeah, he, he tore down houses and built a uh, freeway straight to the South Bronx. And what happened to those people? They got like $2,500. Rats and roaches for, for years. You know what I mean? The Lord said that's going to happen to them. That's what you're reading in Isaiah 13. It's the judgment on the nations. It's the reverse. Read on. And their wives ravished. Now we know what that's talking about. Uh, hey, brothers, we know what that's talking about. Remember I told you the Bible's rated on, man. Uh -huh. right. Their wives going to be ravished, man. Look at this little motley crew here, man. All Esau. <laughs> you think I trust anybody in that group? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You got Moab. Moab. You got Esau. You got the Edomite woman, and then here come the demon. Look. 
You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and then you got our women at ease. Like everything's a game. Feminine man. One of And then with a, with a feminine jink, man. Who's going to get our people out of these lifestyles if we do not come out and speak and teach the word of the Lord, man? If we do not risk our comfort and our freedom and come out here and push this word like that, man? That's why y'all got to go back to the lab. This soldier shirt feel good. I'm telling you, man. I feel good out here, man. Who got a precept? Uh, read what you got. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. Read loud, brother. Get out. Yeah, that's, that's and, I will, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hands of the people of Israel. Right. And they shall do in, in Edom, uh, Salakia, and they shall do in Edom again, according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh. Somebody break that down. Right. Nobody know how to break that down? You read it out. You break it huh. down. You should know how to break it down. Well, break well, we're gonna. Well, the Israelites are gonna take the kingdom, and we're gonna beat the Israel. We're, Salakia, we're gonna beat the Edomites to to, to pieces. That's right. We're gonna take this place. Uh, precept. That's, it. That's right. Thus saith the Lord, man. Precept. Oh, I got it. This is a book of Psalms, chapter thirty-five and verse twenty-six. Bring it out. Let them be ashamed. And brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. And this is exactly what's going on with these people out here, this nation. Everybody is walking around thinking that they're joining us, helping us, walking, marching. But all they're doing is they still comfortable. They don't feel nothing. There's no remorse and there's no regret. Who got next? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 8 and 9. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashed thy little ones against the stones. Like it said, what you did to us, how you fed our babies to alligators, beat, beat our women to death. We're going to take your babies and we're going to be happy to, to smash them against the stones. And we're we not going to look and be like, oh man, why well, I feel bad. No. We're going to say, no, nah, he ain't, he, nah, that baby is not dead enough. Smash him again. A like, year. Yeah. Right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 7. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, we offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. So basically what the scripture is actually saying is that they feel... They feel completely comfortable with doing everything that they've done to us because we won't come back to the Most High and keep the commandments. Come. Are you? There's a book of Psalms, chapter 145 and verse 18. Bring it out. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry. And will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. That's, That's right. right. Come, precept. Yo, Barnabas, you said you got a precept, did you? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse uh, 20. Bring it out. Shall the, shall the throne of the iniquity, uh, like shall the throne of the iniqu of iniquity. iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. That's right. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. That's uh, right. That's right. This is Sarah chapter 36, it's the verse 3. Bring it out! Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. So that's why I was going into it. This is why we out here, right? This is why we out here. We out here to show our people their power. That's right. Remind them who they are. I'm gonna jump down to, uh, I'm gonna continue verse 5. Bring it out! And let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God, only thou, O God. And I'm gonna jump down to uh, verse, verse 7. Bring it out! Raise up indignation and pour out wrath Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. That's right. Make the time short. Remember the covenant 
and let them declare thy wonderful works. That's right. right? So we, so we are here to, to declare the works of the Most High God. That's right. right. To show our people who their power is, right? So that we understand that these people, we're, they're not to be trusted. They're not to be out here in the mix, most two with us. Bring it out. Right? And verse nine, last one. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire. That's right. And let them perish that oppress the people. That's right. So we are here to declare these works, right? We are to declare the, the, the fall of this wicked nation. That's these right. These people who oppress our people. These people who have our brother out here distraught and lost in his own mind. That's these right. people who, right. who have our people in our, in, our, in our great minds out here sleeping on the streets. That's right. right? right. We are here to, to, to declare the power of the Most High God. That's God. our God. God. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Yeah. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers. They that do rise, nor post the that they land. That they do not rise. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Meaning, as it said, we got, we got a lot of people that saying, okay, well, yeah, well, I didn't do that, or I didn't do this, okay, but the most I said, we're gonna prepare slaughter for you, for the iniquities of your fathers. That's right. Just like how we had to um to suffer for the um the iniquities of our fathers, so shall you. But you gonna be forever and ever, ever. Oh, yeah, ever and ever, right. ever. Yeah, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. That's right. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. That's right. So just because we got some of Jake. And some of Eve want to save Esau and cleave with the heathens. That's right. Y'all not gonna go unpunished. Y'all gonna get y'all ears stuck together and <laughs> thrust through. That's, That's right. right. Are you? Yeah, come, come.